MDMA, also known as ecstasy or molly, is a popular drug, especially among young adults. It has gained significant traction in social settings and at parties and music festivals. These environments often amplify the drug's effects, making it a sought-after experience. It creates feelings of euphoria, empathy, and heightened senses. Users often report a sense of connection and emotional closeness with others. However, it's crucial to remember that MDMA is a powerful substance with potential risks. These risks can range from mild to severe, depending on various factors. Understanding these risks and how to mitigate them is essential for a safe experience. Education and awareness are key components in harm reduction. This essay will explore essential safety tips for those considering using MDMA. We'll provide comprehensive information to help you make informed decisions. We'll delve into crucial aspects like dosage, hydration, and the importance of staying within safe limits. The dangers of mixing substances, which can lead to unpredictable and dangerous outcomes. And the importance of a safe environment. Being in a supportive and secure setting can significantly reduce risks. By understanding and respecting these factors, individuals can make more informed choices and minimize potential harms associated with MDMA use. Knowledge and preparation are your best allies in ensuring a safer experience. One of the most critical aspects of safe MDMA use is understanding and respecting dosage. Knowing the right amount to take can make a significant difference in your experience and safety. The effects of MDMA are dose-dependent, meaning that higher doses lead to more intense effects. However, this intensity comes with increased risks. While this might seem appealing, it also significantly increases the risk of adverse reactions. These reactions can range from mild discomfort to severe health issues. The recommended dosage of MDMA varies depending on several factors, including body weight, metabolism, and individual tolerance. Each person's body reacts differently, so it's crucial to consider these variables. As a general guideline, a standard dose is considered to be around 75 to 125 milligrams. This range is designed to provide a balance between achieving desired effects and minimizing risks. It's always advisable to start with a lower dose to assess your individual reaction and tolerance. Starting low allows you to gauge how your body responds and adjust accordingly. Taking too much MDMA can lead to a range of unpleasant and potentially dangerous side effects, including increased heart rate and blood pressure, hyperthermia, and anxiety. These symptoms can escalate quickly and become life-threatening. Other severe side effects include paranoia and seizures. These reactions can be terrifying and require immediate medical attention. In extreme cases, an overdose can be fatal. It's essential to be aware of the signs of overdose and seek help immediately if they occur. Always prioritize safety and be mindful of your dosage to ensure a positive and safe experience. MDMA can significantly impact the body's temperature regulation, often leading to overheating, especially when combined with physical exertion like dancing. Staying hydrated is crucial to mitigating this risk. However, it's essential to avoid overhydration. Drinking excessive amounts of water can disrupt the body's electrolyte balance leading to a potentially dangerous condition called hyponatremia. This occurs when the concentration of sodium in the blood becomes too diluted. The key is to find a balance. Sip water regularly throughout the night, but avoid chugging large quantities. Listen to your body and drink when you're thirsty. Sports drinks containing electrolytes can also be helpful in moderation. Mixing MDMA with other substances, including alcohol and prescription medications, can significantly increase the risk of adverse reactions and health complications. The interactions between these substances can be unpredictable and dangerous. Alcohol, for instance, is a depressant that can exacerbate the dehydrating effects of MDMA. This combination can lead to severe dehydration, heat stroke, and other health problems. Similarly, mixing MDMA with stimulants like cocaine or amphetamines can place an immense strain on the cardiovascular system, increasing the risk of heart attack, stroke, or arrhythmias. Section 5. Alcohol, a recipe for disaster. Alcohol and MDMA are a particularly risky combination. Alcohol is a depressant, while MDMA is a stimulant. This means they have opposing effects on the central nervous system. When combined, they can create unpredictable and potentially dangerous interactions. Alcohol can worsen the dehydrating effects of MDMA. This is because alcohol is a diuretic, 
meaning it increases urine production. When combined with MDMA, which can also lead to dehydration, the risk of severe dehydration is significantly amplified. Furthermore, alcohol can mask the effects of MDMA. This can lead individuals to take more MDMA than they normally would, increasing the risk of an overdose. Section 6. Prescription Drugs, a Risky Combination Mixing MDMA with prescription medications is also extremely hazardous. MDMA can interact with a wide range of medications, including antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, and even some over-the-counter drugs. For example, MDMA can interfere with the effectiveness of antidepressants known as Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors, or SSRIs. This can lead to a dangerous condition called serotonin syndrome, characterized by agitation, confusion, rapid heart rate, and high blood pressure. It's crucial to be aware of any medications you're taking and to consult with a healthcare professional about potential interactions with MDMA. Never mix substances without first consulting a doctor. Section 7. The Importance of Setting, Creating a Safe Space The environment in which MDMA is used can significantly influence the overall experience. The setting plays a crucial role in shaping the emotional and psychological journey of the user. A safe, comfortable, and familiar setting can enhance positive effects and reduce the risk of negative outcomes. Being in a place where you feel at ease can help you fully embrace the experience without unnecessary stress or anxiety. Choose a location where you feel relaxed and secure, surrounded by trusted friends or individuals who are aware of your MDMA use and can provide support if needed. This sense of security can make a significant difference in how you process and enjoy the experience. Avoid unfamiliar or potentially overwhelming environments, especially crowded or chaotic settings. Such places can heighten anxiety and lead to a less enjoyable experience. Having a sober trip sitter, someone who remains sober and watches over those using MDMA is also highly recommended. This person can act as a grounding presence, ensuring that everyone remains safe and comfortable. A trip sitter can provide support, monitor for any adverse reactions, and intervene if necessary. They can offer water, comfort, and reassurance, helping to maintain a positive and safe environment throughout the experience. Section 8. Recognizing and Reacting to an Overdose Recognizing the signs of an MDMA overdose is crucial for ensuring prompt medical attention. Symptoms of an overdose can include rapid or irregular heartbeat, extremely high body temperature, also known as hyperthermia, seizures, confusion and agitation, and even unconsciousness. If you suspect an MDMA overdose, call 911 immediately. Do not hesitate to seek medical attention for fear of legal repercussions. The priority is the individual's safety and well-being. Section 9. The Aftermath. Dealing with the come down. After the euphoric effects of MDMA wear off, individuals often experience a come down characterized by feelings of fatigue, depression, anxiety, and irritability. These effects can last for several days. It's essential to allow yourself time to rest and recuperate after using MDMA. Avoid making important decisions or engaging in activities that require focus and concentration. Stay hydrated, eat nutritious foods, and engage in relaxing activities to support your body's recovery. Section 10, Seeking Help, Resources and Support. If you're struggling with MDMA use or have concerns about your own or someone else's safety, there are resources available to help. Organizations like the National Institute on Drug Abuse and the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration provide information, support, and referrals to treatment centers. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength and a positive step towards recovery. There are people who care and want to support you. You don't have to go through this alone. Section 11. Conclusion. Prioritizing safety and making informed choices. MDMA use can be risky, but by understanding the potential dangers and taking necessary precautions, individuals can minimize harm and make more informed choices. Remember that knowledge is power. The more you understand about MDMA, its effects, and potential risks, the better equipped you'll be to make safe and responsible decisions. If you choose to use MDMA, prioritize safety by starting with a low dose, staying hydrated, avoiding mixing substances, and creating a safe and supportive environment.